We feel pretty miserable when we wake up early. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to wake up early and not feel miserable, not feel tired, not feel annoyed or angry. And it really comes down to a few things which are really simple when you understand them. So my name's Steph, I teach lucid dreaming and sleep hacks. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can sleep easily and also how you can wake up without feeling miserable or annoyed. If you master this, and if you learn how to do this, you'll be able to wake up early, you won't need an alarm clock, you'll be able to wake up with more energy, you'll feel motivated, you'll feel happy, and more importantly, that feeling will stay with you throughout the whole day. When you wake up in the morning, you should feel energetic, happy, excited, motivated, you should not feel miserable, you should not feel sad, you should not feel tired or annoyed or fatigued. If you are feeling one of those things, something is going wrong somewhere. And in this video, I'll show you what is going wrong. So we've all experienced it, haven't we, where we wake up in the morning and for some reason we just immediately feel like we've been hit by a train. We feel like something is just wrong somewhere. We feel like we have no energy. We don't want to be awake. We want to go back to sleep. And then often we do, you know, we hit the snooze button, which I'll, I'll get onto why that's dangerous later. But why do you feel miserable? Why do you feel tired when you wake up? Well, the main reason, the only pretty much reason why you would feel miserable in the morning is that you've interrupted your sleep cycle. So every night we experience between five and six sleep cycles, which are basically 90 minute chunks of time comprised of five sleep stages. If you wake yourself up the middle of a sleep cycle, as in during the middle of the, one of those 90 minute circles, you will feel miserable and tired for the whole day until you go back to sleep again. So the answer then becomes, how do you wake up at the end of a sleep cycle? Well, it should happen naturally. It should happen normally as part of your circadian rhythm. But our circadian rhythms, at least in most of society, they're not very healthy at the moment because of various different things, which I will explain in a minute. So make sure you watch the whole video if you do want to wake up early without feeling tired or fatigued. So the first thing you need to understand, kind of obvious, is you need to know how long your sleep cycles are and when they happen, when your sleep cycles end. And the easiest way of doing that I've found is by using a sleep tracker. So the one I use is this one, which is an Apple Watch 3. And uh, you can get this following the link in the description, but there are many different other ones. You can also get an app, which is called Auto Sleep, which is about $3 to about four bucks, I think it is. And uh, that will track your sleep without you needing to do anything. You literally just put your watch on and wear it. Now, I should mention one thing. If you do have tattoos like me, uh, it will be more difficult to track. So I found a gap in my tattoo where there's less shading. Uh, but if you don't have tattoos, it's fine. It works fine. You can also use a Fitbit, but just make sure you can track your sleep and differentiate between different sleep stages like light sleep, deep sleep, REM, and also when you're not moving. So then what you need to do is look at your REM sleep chart, work out when your REM is during the night, and then you wanna basically wake yourself up or set your alarm to be roughly after when you think your REM sleep should be. Let me just explain and clarify what I mean by that. Track your sleep, get an Apple Watch or get a sleep tracker, track it for about one or two weeks, and then you'll have a, a pretty clear understanding of when you have REM sleep. REM sleep is the last part of a sleep cycle. So you wanna wake yourself up after your REM sleep or as close to as you can get to after your REM sleep as possible. Don't wake yourself up before or during, wake yourself up after your REM sleep. If you can track this on an Apple Watch, you can very clearly see when this is. Now don't worry if you don't wanna get a sleep tracker because I'm gonna explain now some tips and, and things you can do that don't involve tracking your sleep. So here's what you should do just to basically get a better idea of when you should be waking up. So start going to bed 15 minutes earlier every night until you wake up feeling good. So if you're waking up basically in the middle of a sleep cycle, that's your body telling you you did not get enough sleep or at least you didn't finish that sleep cycle. So you need to keep waking up at the same time but change the time that you go to bed in the evening. This will mean that your sleep cycles will start earlier so they will therefore finish earlier. You can actually go even more detailed and, and go in 10 minute chunks. So every day you go to bed 10 minutes earlier until you hit that sweet spot where you don't feel like you've been hit by a train in the morning. Some other things to consider is you should be meditating every morning. This will help to get you into the right brainwave state. You will avoid stress and ultimately you'll sleep better as well. Also avoid eating food two hours before bed, avoid drinking one hour before bed and avoid bright lights or screens three hours before bed. And then more importantly, when you do wake up, no matter what time it is, let's say if your alarm goes off at six and you have to be out of the house at eight, don't hit the snooze button. If you hit the snooze button, when you wake up, you will feel miserable and tired and fatigued the whole day, I guarantee, because, and here's why. When you hit the snooze button and then go back to sleep, you will compound the effect you will make yourself miss another sleep cycle. Because let's say if your alarm goes off, cuts your sleep cycle in half, and you wake up feeling like you've been hit by a train, you've been run over by a tractor or whatever. If you then go back to sleep and then wake up in 20 minutes time, you've just done it again. <laughs> you've just then ruined another sleep cycle. So only snooze if you know you can sleep for another hour and a half. Otherwise, it's gonna make it worse. It's gonna compound the effects. And lastly, this is probably the most important thing. If you don't comment or like this video or subscribe to my channel, you probably won't ever sleep again. 